Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Kenna. I'm a biochemist, cosmetic formulator, and business consultant for skincare startups. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about skin cycling. Now, this was a term coined by Dr. Whitney Bow. She started the whole skin cycling thing that is super, super trending on TikTok. But if you're not on TikTok, you might not have heard of it. And it is a very cool way of kind of regimenting your skincare routine to minimize sensitivity and maximize benefits. So I'm going to explain her whole methodology of what skin cycling is in today's video. All right, so skin cycling is basically a four night routine. Your daytime skincare is gonna stay the same as you always are, like with your cleanser, your vitamin C serum, and your SPF, any other products that you use, but SPF is definitely super, super important, so do not skip out on that in the morning. Now, all of the other, all the routine of the skin cycling is gonna be referring to your nighttime skincare routine. So it's four nights. The first night is just very quickly, we're gonna go over this, and then we're gonna get into each one in more detail. We have our exfoliation night, our retinoid night, and then two recovery nights. So night one, exfoliation, two is retinoids, three and four are recovery nights. Okay, so let's start at the beginning, your exfoliation night. Now, chemical exfoliants like AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids are the kind of gold standard for exfoliating your skin. Glycolic acid definitely being the most powerful out of them all. Um, that really can get into the skin to exfoliate, get rid of dead skin cells, uh, promote cellular turnover, and just ultimately reduce fine lines and wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, evening out the skin tone and texture, everything. So AHAs are the bomb. If you can handle it, definitely go for a glycolic acid. If you have more sensitive dry skin, you will probably benefit from lactic acid or a combination of glycolic and lactic. There's also other AHAs like mandelic acid, but I'm not gonna get into all of the AHAs today because I just kinda wanna go over what skin cycling is. But in the future, I'll definitely do a video deep diving into AHAs and the differences between all of them. So the exfoliation night is gonna be using a gentle cleanser and then doing an exfoliating serum, whether that's your glycolic, lactic, or mandelic acid, and then following up with a nice moisturizer, something that your skin is probably used to is best. Um, whether you like a more light lotion or you like a thick cream at night, that's totally personal preference and skin type dependent. But I would recommend definitely doing this routine with a moisturizer that you're used to, that no, you know you don't have any issues with or has any ingredients in there that you're sensitive to or could break you out or whatever it is. So just go with your tried and true moisturizer for this situation. And that's it for exfoliation night. Now, some exfoliating products are meant to be leave-on products and some are meant to be washed off. So always make sure that you are following the instructions of your specific product that you have. If you're really used to acids, you can kind of open up the interpretation of those instructions if you're used to the product and you know how it works and everything. Some great brands for exfoliating acids like this are really, these are simple formulas, so you don't need to go on the splurge for like an exfoliating product, but just some tried and true good ones are like the Inky List, Ordinary, uh, Verse has some nice ones. So you definitely could go drugstore with this or you could go more expensive if that's your style. That is night one, exfoliation night. Now night two is your retinoid night. So whatever kind of retinoid product you're using, with it, whether it's like retinol, retinol, or whatever else, this is the night for it. So you're gonna go cleanser, allow your skin to be clean and dry, then go in with your retinoid product and then top it with a nice moisturizer, nice rich moisturizer. I would definitely recommend using. Um, I just did a video all about how to use retinol, so definitely go check that out here or here. <laughs> and I go through all the different moisturizers that I like to pair with retinols and also some really great retinols if you are just starting out using it. It's kind of some baby intro retinol products. So that is night two. So again, you've done your night one exfoliation, night two retinoids, and then night three and night four are your recovery nights. And what that means is you're just not using any really strong active ingredients such as an HA or retinoid product. You're focusing your skin on hydration, on repairing your skin's uh, moisture barrier and functionality of the skin. So we want lots of hydrating ingredients, lots of humectants, lots of emollients. This would be the two nights that you can do the slugging. So with something occlusive like the petrolatum or silicones or whatever you like to use for slugging, mineral oil, your aquaphor, your Vaseline, whatever. But you do not want to be slugging on nights one and two when you're using alpha hydroxy acids and retinoids that you leave in reserve for your recovery nights. So some great humectant ingredients, again, are going to be something like a hyaluronic acid, a glycerin, 
um, some polysaccharides, some algae extracts, lots of different extracts can be um, hydrating as well. Then you wanna look for some emollient products. So this would be things like your squalane oil, um, any kind of butters or ceramides, omega fatty acids, uh, phytosterols. And then if you want to do slugging on top of this, you definitely could. I also just did post, my last video was about how to use Vaseline and it's all about slugging. So if you missed that and you're interested about slugging or having a really nice occlusive barrier on your recovery nights, then go check that out. So that is basically it. So again, it's the exfoliation, the retinoids, recovery, recovery. It's a four night system. Your daytime skincare just stays the same. You know, I definitely recommend using a vitamin C and an SPF during the day. Um, and AHAs and retinoids both make your skin much more sensitive to sunlight. You can burn much easier. You can get UVA damage much easier. So you have to wear SPF always, but especially, especially if you're using AHAs or retinoids. This is a great routine to do all the way down the neck, you know, face, everything. Um, you could do it on the back of your arms, your hands, whatever, but just make sure you are following up with an SPF anywhere you do this. The benefits that I see to this is kind of taking the guesswork out of when you should be using something like a retinoid or an alpha hydroxy acid in your routine and kind of simplifying it that way. Also giving your skin a nice breathing room and rest so that I can um, maximize the benefits and take everything in without promoting sensitivity and redness. So I've been doing this kind of skin cycling for a long time, slightly modified and not knowing what it was. Um, my normal routine is like, I use generally an AHA product once a week and then I will use a retinoid um, every other night and then in between that I always use I guess the recovery night products like just hydrating and emollient um, ingredients in there. I love my panthenol, I love my ceramides, I love my uh, uh, squalane, everything like that. So I would generally do like AHA exfoliation and then using a retinol then recovery then retinol then recovery then retinol, then recovery, then an AHA, then retinoid recovery, and kind of go back and forth. This one definitely spreads it out a little bit more. So I've been doing the this like skin cycling routine for the past week, and I mean, so far so good. So I'm gonna continue this for about a month, but I do think I would like an extra retinol night in there because this one, the skin cycling routine only gives you two retinol nights, and I like to use uh, retinol like three times a week. It's just what I've kind of built up to, and. Um, what I'm used to doing at this point, but of course you can always modify this. What I do really like th for this is especially if you are just starting out to use something like a retinol or an AHA in your routine and you're trying to build up more anti-aging properties to your skincare routine, this is a great way to kind of take the guesswork out of it and make sure that you know that you're going through the right steps and giving yourself time enough time to recover. So I love it for that and I like that it has builds this routine into your, yourself so you know what night you're on, what's the next day. You don't have to be like, oh, well, when's the last time I used an AHA? Or, oh, did I use retinol last night or this night? Or when was it? Should I do a recovery night? I don't know. Like it kind of takes the guesswork out of it, which I think is really great, um, especially if you are just starting out using some of these ingredients and you want to leave that space between uses and everything. So I think that's fabulous. Definitely, if you want to learn more about the skin cycling, just go check out Dr. Whitney Bow's page. Like she's got so much information on it. You can learn a bunch. I thought I would just quickly cover it here because a few of you did ask me about it. And I know it's like super trending um, with news articles and TikTok and all of that stuff. So I just thought I would give my two cents and give my take on it and everything. So I hope that you learned something from this video. Let me know if you have tried skin cycling down in the comments below and let's have a little chat about it. I think it's wonderful. I have been doing my version of skin cycling like forever. It definitely works for me, but I'm gonna be doing this, uh, like this newer version for, I'll try it out for a few weeks and see if I wanna bring in another retinol night or not, if I'm just cool with this. So we'll see, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.